Okay, uh, I'm back uh, with the second part of the uh, video highlighting the key features and benefits of uh, Captain GM Avan Arcade uh, or the Avan Arcade. So here we're gonna go inside. First what we'll do is uh, we'll go down and we'll check out the upper ground and the lower ground. This here is uh, the uh, ground area and here in front you see the lift outlet okay we'll go all the way down and we'll start off from there inshallah uh, since we just crossed ramadan and eid a lot of the crew is on holidays gone back to the interior once they start uh, coming back the work will start again and uh, we hope and pray that this thing should be done max in the next couple of months so we're in may right now so let's say june july uh, july august time frame okay this is the lower ground and we're not going to call it basement because you can see even without any uh, electricity right now uh, or any other lighting it's still fairly bright and i want you all to see a little bit outside over here Okay. Wow, it's really quiet today. Maybe it's a bit early. So this is what we have, which is the uh, open area. And once this is all uh, sanitized and all, this could be a sitting area with a few uh, tables and chairs where the uh, uh, team members can get out and relax. And for those of uh, team members who are into burning uh, one, <laughs> they can come out here and, and, and burn one, I guess. This over here is going to be, uh, it's a bit challenging to get inside right now, but nevertheless, uh, I'll do it. Okay, right, so this here, is going to be the uh, washroom and here we plan to you know keep this uh, door where we can get out and enjoy more fresh air and sunlight okay now moving back and jumping over the challenge Bismillah okay so let's get back to the staircase all right real quick this is the upper ground so we were at the uh, lower ground this is the upper ground the difference is here you've got more shoots for uh, sunlight on both sides uh, ample decent square footage over here and this here again we kept the windows as big as we could for maximum sunlight to get in and then we've got this little balcony thing you know we can get creative about that as well moving on over here real quick again another uh, utilizing space over here here we're looking at the, uh, the the washroom over here or maybe that's the kitchen and then the washroom over here okay uh, one of the two now Coming back over here, now we'll move up to, so we were at the uh, lower ground, upper ground, and now we're here at ground level. So after all this is clean and tidy, we are going to have something which is amazing. You can see the entry is very wide, uh, planning to use good material on the stairs, uh, just like we got a high class uh, elevator 
instead of just getting something very economical. We're not sparing any expenses. Again, prime view, just highlighting Giga Mall and the rest of the few tenants, including banks. Again, you can see uh, how much area is available here and how best it can be utilized as per somebody's imagination. Uh, as an example, if a bank moves here, uh, obviously they'll have other requirements. Uh, they might use this chute for the uh, round stairs over here to get down. Uh, as a lot of banks, you know, they are multi-story. They have, uh, you know, one uh, story and then they have another story. For example, they'll take ground and then they'll take uh, lower ground and utilize it as well. Again, we got a little balcony thing going on over here, all the way from here to all the way to the end. Uh, bright. Obviously, this here can be all glass uh, to add better natural uh, feelings, daylight and all that. Uh, again here, a small chute can be utilized in different ways. You got the WC thing going on over here. So here is the, uh, is the view. Okay. Real quick. Here's, there's gonna be a big window on, on this side. Another big window there next to the stairs so it's all bright. That's the uh, elevator. Uh, the rest is pretty much the same. One shoot over there, uh, washroom, uh, kitchenette. And again, if you come outside, it's pretty much the same. Long balcony all the way up to there. Okay. So this is, inshallah, going to be a prime address in DHA2. We're going to come up with something. We've done a lot of brainstorming. Uh, talked to some of the best architects, interior designers. We've uh, taken the best of the quality when it comes to construction. So it's going to be something unique in this, in this arena. This is something which has been done uh, in terms of making offices. However, if any tenant is interested in coming over here, this, this interior walls can be torn down and the space can be given to them uh, with mutual consent, obviously, where they can do internal designing and layout themselves. And as an example, these balconies can be left open and uh, a glass partition can be placed over here. So whoever is utilizing this floor, not only will they have the inside, but they will also have their own uh, personal balconies uh, over here. Again, the view is not that bad. Once things are done and the scaffolds and other things come off, inshallah it's going to be something amazing. Now, we've covered ground floor and first floor. I'm taking you all to the uh, second floor now, real quick. Uh, feels quite bright. Same thing over here. Uh, Shoot there, WC, kitchenette, balcony, big windows, open all the way, okay, and here you go, let's check out the view, okay, the other thing you must have noticed by now is that this uh, structure has a huge front, it's, uh, it's really, really huge. Okay, and this is one of the key points that makes it so attractive. Okay, let's move on to the next floor. So we've done ground, we've done first, I believe this was second, if I'm not mistaken. I think I've lost count. So let's go up real quick. Or maybe that was the fourth because we're on the rooftop right now. Okay, here the way things have been designed that uh, all the structures have been put on one side, not in the middle like you see on some of the other plazas. The idea is that this space can be utilized as well in the future. Again, a couple of windows for good view and brightness. Here you can see the awesome location. And this whole place over here, this can be utilized for a rooftop 
a dining outlet or it can be used for some other purpose again this can be uh, decided mutually here you can see a little bit down wow that's a lot of long ways down okay so here's the view uh, if I'm not mistaken on that side if the day is clear you can see uh, Margala Hills that right there all are the uh, golden arches for Mickey D McDonald's and you can ask anybody DHA2 layout and planning is much much better than its other counterparts uh, around the neighborhood okay so like I said uh, it's a good space good quality we're not just looking for tenants we're looking for uh, partners uh, so we can uh, like stated earlier it would be our desire not to, to get just tenants and fill up the space we want to have selected few partners where we work towards community building uh, develop networks relationships so it would be wonderful to see uh, startups people uh, and entities engaged in entrepreneurship innovation uh, business generation people with long-term vision people who want to do something beyond just doing something for themselves I know we all do stuff for ourselves but what about doing something for the community and for the nation and humanity at large so we need people with vision with ideas uh, we want to have like a hub where great minds collide together uh, and you know what they say one plus one is eleven so I'm just gonna leave it at that I'm gonna sign off now uh, for those of you who had requested for this thing you already have my details for others I'll uh, put the uh, contact details in the uh, description below so feel free to reach out to me and if you happen to be in this part of town uh, even if you're flying in from overseas and you happen to be in Islamabad even for a short while uh, don't be shy reach out to us give me a shout um, you know we would like to invite you here to DHA2 and host you and share our vision with you and if there is alignment and uh, you know uh, blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I'm sure together we can do wonderful things so we're open to all sorts of ideas uh, moving above and beyond just the traditional uh, tenant and the uh, landlord uh, relationship so you know not just we not that we just want this space to be only uh, in terms of creativity and innovation obviously that's uh, one of our core desire uh, however we want to hook up with uh, decent and amazing human beings and uh, grow socially as well so take care of yourself god bless requesting you all for your prayers and uh, hoping and requesting for positive results beyond our expectation beyond our uh, you know, humanly imagination and uh, you know requesting for God's mercy and acceptance Jazakallah khair take care of yourself God bless a uh, couple of things before I wrap up this video I've covered almost everything if I've missed out on anything uh, please reach out to me and let me know so we can provide you that information as well first of all this is not our first project we have uh, developed and delivered projects in the past and second thing we're not just looking for tenants we're looking for neighbors and we would like to be selective about that because you can see behind Awan properties we plan to move and take one floor uh, complete over there of course everything is flexible and on the table but just I felt this is important to share this uh, with you all take care God bless